This is Rhea with Stillwater County Library. How's it going? So we're gonna do another fun, easy, affordable craft that you can do at home. Um, this is called Color Magic and it is art using paper towels, markers, and water. So super easy, super fun. Um, this is a process art piece, so it's more about experimentation and color mixing and just having fun than actually about the finished product. So it's great to just let the kids use their imagination, do what they want. The less directions, the better. Uh, what I am doing right now is just throwing down some patterns on my paper towel. So this would be where you guys can just go crazy. If you want to make a pattern, you can. If you want to make a picture, you can do that. If you, I don't know, if you just wanna go crazy and color real fast, see what happens, that is always an option. So we are using Crayola uh, Ultra Clean, oh, what are these called? Ultra Clean Washable Markers. So I would not recommend using fabric markers um, or permanent markers. You want a washable marker. So just the regular Crayola brand, ones you keep at home. I should have got more colors, you guys. I don't have that many colors here. I need some more variety. And my markers are kind of dry because they're at the library and we're, we love markers. We're not very fond of using them for programming though because it makes a big mess and then parents are sad. So making a mess at home though, every once in a while is not so bad. Right? Messes can be fun. So basically you can do whatever you would like to do on your paper towel until you feel like it is a finished product and ready to go. Man, I should have got some darker colors, guys. I got a whole lot of orange and I didn't mean to. All right, we're gonna see see what we can do here. So I'm trying to do this quickly for the video. Oh, so we just have some patterns. Didn't do anything real specific. Now, I searched the library. I was sure that we had a little spray bottle, a water bottle kind that hadn't been filled with chemicals. Unfortunately, we do not. And it's possible you don't have a spray well either. So I went with the next best thing and found a straw. This one's real big. Um, I'm sure you guys have littler straws at home. You can use a water dropper if you have those. You can use a spray bottle. Oh, guys, this might be a problem. This straw's way too big. Oh, there we go. Nope. Hmm. All right. What are we going to do? We're going to pause and we're going to find a smaller straw. So what we're gonna do. Hold please. We found a straw. All right, so I have a normal straw. I also found Q-tips, which is something that everybody might have. <laughs> so what you're going to do is just grab some water and then you're going to drop it on your paper towel. You really don't want to saturate the whole thing. So I would get just little bits of water and put it where you want your colors to mix. Oh man, it's already happening, guys. Um, now, I didn't say this at the start, but it is a good idea to do this on a paper plate or a tablecloth that you don't love, like a plastic one, um, or this could also be a really good outside craft. So you might wanna do it out on the porch, out in the yard. Oh, now I'm not getting any water. There we go. Oh man. So this is great to see how different colors interact and spread. Can you see my little fireworks of colors going on here? So, ooh, the more you do, the more it's going to blend together. So this is a really great activity for little ones as well to see how colors will mix. Um, and then when you're done, you can always do another paper towel or you can set these ones out to dry. So super fun process art. Process art parents is all about the experience of doing it, not necessarily about the finished product. So we won't wanna see horses and ponies and flowers and cats. You just want them to enjoy the experience and learn from the science behind it. So I hope you guys have fun. I hope you enjoy this process art and have a fantastic day. All right, bye friends.